So today I'm in Muckleteal, Washington, and when it comes to waterfront communities here in the Seattle metro area, this is one of the most beautiful places that you can live. And in fact, Niche.com has Muckleteal rated as the number three place to live in all of Snohomish County. So come along today with me and see what it might be like to live here in Muckleteal. Now, Muckleteo is located about 25 miles north of Seattle here. So <clears throat> if you're looking for somewhere that's in a commutable distance to Seattle, maybe you're working in downtown Seattle, there is plenty of people that live here in Muckleteo and make that commute. Now, just so you know, that commute into Seattle could be anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour, depending on those traffic times and heavier rush hour times you're probably going to be 45 minutes to an hour for each way on that commute. Now, Muckleteo here has a population of just about 21,000 people um, here in this area. Now, it is a beautiful area to live. Like I said, you are right on the Puget Sound, right here in this uh, Muckleteo area. You've got a lot of homes with waterfront views. You've got a lot of parks around here. Right now, I am at Lighthouse Park and uh, the Muckleteo Beach area. So. It's a very, very beautiful spot down here. You can see the kids' playground behind me. You've got beach volleyball right here as well. You've got the ferry terminal here. That'll take you over to Woodby Island. So if you want to do a little day trip on Woodby Island, head over to Deception Pass, taking the views on the Woodby Island area. You can do that here right from the uh, Lighthouse Park, Muckleteo Beach area here from the ferry terminal. There's also picnic shelters over here, so if you want to rent out one of these picnic shelters to have a birthday party or a smaller event, you can certainly do that. Outside of that, it's just a beautiful place to spend a day here, a nice sunny day in Seattle in the summer, and spend a day with the family here right on the water, um, and just taking in all the activities and things to do around here. Along with that, you've got some great places to eat right next to the park here, right next to the waterfront. You've got uh, Ivers, which is a great seafood place you can walk over to, or Diamond Knot Brewery, which is also one of my favorites to go to. Grab a beer, a burger, and, and relax there and enjoy your food right by the water. There's also some other little spots to eat right up the street here, also in walking distance. Arnie's is another really popular one for seafood, a nice sit-down restaurant where you can enjoy a good meal and take in, again, some great views of the Puget Sound. Now, as I mentioned, Niche.com has Muckleteo rated as the number three place to live in all of Snohomish County. It's a very desirable area. A lot of people are coming over this way when they're moving over the Seattle Metro. Muckleteo is very often towards the top of their list in terms of considerations of where to move. Now, a big reason for that is the school district. It's got a very, very high rated school district. You can see here on Niche.com, it's got A rated schools. If you go to greatschools.org, another good resource for that, you can see eights and sevens um, for middle schools and elementary schools and their high school, Kamiak High School, is rated a nine out of 10. So a very, very strong school district in this area. Another popular reason that people are moving over here to Muckleteo is proximity to Boeing. So of course, a lot of Boeing employees, people that have come from out of state to take a job at Boeing, and you're right here, you are right near the Boeing uh, field as well as Payne Field Airport. So, Painfield Airport recently opened up for commercial flights over the last few years. So there's some destinations on the West Coast, such as San Francisco, uh, Phoenix and Tucson and Vegas and Boise uh, and Spokane and some other areas in the Western US that you can fly out of to Painfield or from Painfield. It'll make it a lot easier on you than having to drive all the way down south to go to SeaTac Airport south of Seattle. <music> Now, if you're planning to move here to Muckleteo or it's a consideration, you're probably also wondering how much does it cost to live here? What kind of home can I buy? Now, there's a lot of different types of homes here in Muckleteo. It is a bit on the older end of things when it comes to construction of homes. 
There's a lot of older homes built in the 50s, 60s, 70s, and 80s around here. There's also some condos with some water views, beautiful panoramic views. So there's a good range of, of what's available here in Mukilteo. Not a ton of new construction, as like I said, it is an older area. You're gonna find some one-offs here and there where an older home may have been torn down and they built a new build on that lot. But for the most part, older homes, Average price point, medium price point right now in Mukilteo is 949,000. Again, at the time I'm filming this video um, is, what, uh, what is it, September of 2022. So if you're watching this video a year down the road, those medium prices are likely not 949. Um, but that's what it is right now. So I'm gonna take you around three different houses right now, show you, give you an idea of what the houses look like around here and that price point of what it would take to buy something around here. So let's head up the road and start looking at those homes. So I'm here at house number one, 630 Loveland here in Old Town, Mukilteo. So we are not far, just a few minutes from where I just was at the waterfront there. So this home is a 1999 built home you can see here. It's got four bedrooms, four and a half bathrooms, 5,300 square feet, and absolutely breathtaking panoramic views of the Puget Sound. So this is an absolutely gorgeous home uh, when it comes to the views. <clears throat> it's um, it's listed at $2.08 million right now. So for these kind of views at $2 million, this close to Old Town and, and downtown Mukilteo for that kind of square footage, not too bad. You can see it does have a lot of the original finishes, but very clean and well-maintained. It's here on a cul-de-sac. You can kind of see the neighborhood uh, behind me. Um, so it's a very nice, well-kept, very quiet neighborhood here. Um, you can see you've got the three-car garage house there um, so it is an absolutely beautiful property and a beautiful area right here so this is going to give you an idea if you want to live in old town you want to live close to that ferry terminal that that lighthouse park and the beach and all that's down there where i was just at and you want panoramic views of the puget sound this is about what you're going to be looking at now there's a lot of different homes in this area like i said there's a lot of older construction so this is not they're not cookie cutter around here every home looks different for the most part so there's a lot of different character in these neighborhoods um, and not like i said not just cookie cutter straight across the board so there's a lot of different types of homes that you can find you can of course get a home with a view that's not two million because this one's 5300 square feet so if you got something quite a bit smaller, 1,500 to 2,000 square feet, you're not gonna be paying two million. So there are some options around here and some beautiful breathtaking homes with views of the Puget Sound. So let's jump over to home number two. I wanna show you that neighborhood as we get further away from Old Town, uh, deeper into Mukilteo. We're here at the second house you can see behind me, 5131 87th Avenue. So we're just a bit further, about 10 minutes from that downtown area, the waterfront area. So this is a 1977 tri-level home. It's about three bedrooms, 1,900 square feet, 
um, and it's priced at 815,000 right now. So this is gonna be kind of the lower end of the price point that you're gonna find in this area for you know this size of home. It's a, you know, it's a nice looking home. You can see inside here, the updates that have been done. It's, it's got some good updates. It's got some original features as well. It looks like the kitchen countertops and a few other things, but it's a very nice, clean, well-maintained home with some updates done to it. An average size lot, just over 8,000 square feet. And you can see in this neighborhood behind me, you know, it's a pretty uniform neighborhood. There's a lot of, you know, similar homes around here, 70s and 80s built, uh, two story split level, tri level homes. Um, so it's, it's a very quiet neighborhood though. You can see all the trees around, so it's very shaded um, and it's still beautiful to look at, even though there's some older homes in here, some that are maintained a little bit better than others because there's no HOAs in these neighborhoods. It's still a very pleasant place to live. Uh, and a great place to, to raise a family and all that kind of stuff. There's a lot of families in this area. So I wanna take you to the last house, house number three. It's a bit even further south from here in a place called Harbor Point. So let's jump back in the car and we'll head down to Harbor Point and take a look at the last. All right, well, I am here at home number three in Harbor Point, 5833106. You can see right behind me. This home is built in 1989. It's four bedrooms, 2,400 square feet. Again, this is a very, very beautiful neighborhood. Very nice neighborhood. Um, you can see all around me here, some great homes, well-maintained lots, very nicely manicured lawns. So it's a great looking area. You can see this home um, has some original finishes, but very clean and well-maintained, a spacious house. You got the three car garage there as well. Um, and as you enter into this neighborhood, you do have some views of the Puget Sound. Right as you drive in, before you turn uh, right onto this road where this home is, as you drive into the neighborhood, you've got some beautiful views of the Puget Sound. So that's not something that you can complain about when you're coming home every day, um, taking in some nice views on that drive. So. Um, like I said, this is a bit further south in Mukilteo. It's the Harbor Point area. So you've got Harbor Point Golf Club right nearby. And you're a little bit closer to Payne Field and the airport there. This is about 15 minutes from Old Town, the ferry terminal, the waterfront park downtown that I was at uh, earlier in the video. Uh, so you're still not too far. You can just take a quick drive down the Muckleteal Speedway to get there on a nice summer day with the kids or whatever if you want to spend time down there. Um, but this is still uh, a, you know, a beautiful area, a great place to be um, and very quiet back here as well. And as you can see, some beautiful homes, a lot of homes anywhere from 2,000 to 3,500 square feet, you know, built in the 80s and 90s. Um, and, um, you know, it's a beautiful place to live, that's for sure. All right, well, this wraps up my video on Mukilteo. So hopefully this gave you a good idea of what it might be like to live over here. Like I said, median home prices are 949,000 right now. You can see there's a bit of range of, of what you can get over here with it being so close to the water. There are lots of homes with water views. And then there's your typical subdivision living in 70s, 80s and 90s and early 2000s homes. There's still some shopping close by. There's not as many grocery stores here in Mukilteo as some of the other cities. So you might wanna travel over to Everett for a lot of your grocery shopping and all of that kind of stuff, doctor's visits, that kind of stuff. There is some of that in Mukilteo, but not as much as say the Everett area. And Everett is just right next to Mukilteo. So still close, not too bad of a drive to just get over there for those kinds of things. You're close to the airport, like I said, as well. So if you're going to be traveling to a, a more West Coast city like a Las Vegas or a San Francisco or a Tucson, Arizona, or somewhere where there are commercial flights going out of Painfield Airport, you are nice and convenient 
being close to that as well here, as well as being close to Boeing. Like I said, if you're coming over here for a job at Boeing, you're gonna have a nice, easy commute every single day. But this is a beautiful area, great schools, great place to live, and I think you'd love it here. So let me know if you've got any questions, if you're moving over this way, need some help, purchasing that home you need to find the right place to live the right area to end up in and start that home shopping process feel free to reach out to me here be more than happy to help you through that process but appreciate you watching this one